Elders react to... Hello. <laughs> oh, would you stick in a soft spot? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Elders react to the rugrats. Elders react to dying <laughs> of old age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Bring it, stop. <laughs> Turn the camera I'm off. I'm scared. I don't want to die. <laughs> Where's my family? You told me I'd see my family. <laughs> we are the fine bros. You will never escape. We're your, it's like we're your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> we're nice to our people. <clears throat> we give them bacon soda. Where are we going? Now react to eating this booger. React to eating my bugger. <laughs> You're not the very nice person. They're already dying. I have to say I loved Lee Cara, right? I was watching... <laughs> I was watching various places and I saw Lee Cara, the great Lee Cara. He did... I talked the fourth wall and he talked about the, the famous Power Rangers Red, right? He said it'll be out when it's out. And we like that. It'll be out when it's out. But great work <laughs> ethic. It was so good when Iron Liz was there, the great Iron Liz, right? It's okay. Okay, that's enough of that. Wait, that's not enough of that. There needs Ooh. to be more. Okay. That's when he stands up, he says, Don't you talk about me, you son of a bitch! Who said that? What is that? It's what me, is that? the Lightbringer! Look, there he is! There he is! Get him, get him out of here! Get him the hell out of here! Then it cuts to the audience beating the shit out of him. <laughs> fucking ripping his jacket up. Throw him out in the cold! Don't bring his- don't give him his jacket! Don't give him his- <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Doug Walker's just looking on, going, ah! he's, he's going, build that wall! <laughs> Chris and I both, this is, this is the episode, it's called Homer Freaking Clones Himself. Yeah. This is season 32, episode <laughs> one. All right, you be Marge. All right, do your real best Marge. We'll do our real best Homer. Yeah. Me? So, establishing shot of the house. <laughs> da, 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 da. That doesn't do that for the establishing shot of guys. Yeah, it does that. Yeah. And then we hold on for five seconds in silence, and then we cut in. Mm -hmm. And Homer is on the couch, and Marge walks in. He's holding a Duff brew. Yeah. And he's not smiling at all. He's just kind of sitting there with the TV off. Homer, are you ever going to assemble that hat rack sitting in the living room? You assume you can talk to me? Really? Did you ever talk to us like that again? You're going to, you're going to have a big Oh my problem. god, there's two homies! That's right, Alice. Let's get this straight. You homies! Yes, that's right. I cloned myself this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sick, I'm sick of you yelling at me and telling me I'm lazy and good for nothing. No, that was me. You're that, the clone. Oh, that's right. That was you. Yeah, that was you, I mean. <laughs> Technically, you have all of the memories I have, I have the accumulated. Same as you. I feel like I am you, but you. Uh oh. Are. And now, Marge. Homie, you violated international law by cloning yourself. This I is a big deal. I may have done so, yes. Yes, it's But so can you prove it? The in the eyes of the so. law, yes, I have violated. <laughs> I have committed a great crime. But in the eyes of God, I am amongst him. <laughs> I am a god myself in some ways. <laughs> Uh, okay, it's generating the story about Prince Andrew. Okay. You are Prince Andrew, a noble living in the kingdom of Larian. <laughs> England. <laughs> you, have, uh, you have a pouch of gold and a small dagger. Just like the real one. You are <laughs> by one of your servants, who tells you that your keep is under attack. You look out the window and see a group of orcs attacking from above. <laughs> it's the BBC. They're attempting to break into the, <laughs> the keep BBC. through the broken windows. <laughs> Run, you shout! I will hold them off! Your servant runs back inside and returns with another servant. Will someone wake up the queen? Wake up the queen and ask her if I should do an interview. <laughs> no, don't do that! Don't do that! <laughs> the servant I don't like you with my game! The servant opens the door and comes back out holding a woman. She looks at you and smiles. <laughs> Prince Andrew, are you alright? She asks. Yes, I'm fine, you reply. <laughs> I was just going to get go go get go get Pizza Express. <laughs> Should I get Pizza? Should I get us Pizza Express? <laughs> no, we're fine. She says. Just got some news about the attack, and it's all been sorted out now. We should be able to enjoy so, our so I really think we should get Pizza Express. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not that late yet. I think she said hell yeah for a second. I was like <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah. Fuck yes, mummy. Mamoo. <laughs> <laughs> mummy. 
Fuck yes, mummy. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> You kiss her on the cheek so she can before leaving. <laughs> After getting your food, mm, you head back to your room where you start thinking about what happened. See, why would you have to think about what happened if you just had food? If you didn't do anything. See, yeah. that's the real question in real life, too. You feel guilty. If you just got Pizza Express, why do you have to think about it? <laughs> you feel really bad about what happened, but you can't help it. You were drunk and high on drugs, and you just whoa, wanted to fuck whoa. a girl's <laughs> Whoa! 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 Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god. God. What the fuck? <laughs> There's key. Corey, uh, come up with a new DLC for Resident Evil 2. Go. Yeah, Corey, expand on the story, the lore. Okay. Alright, let's. Okay, here, we'll, we'll help you build it. You play as. In this DLC, you play as what? Go ahead. Go. Ash Redfield. Ash Redfield. All right, the new relative to Chris that no one knew about. Perfect. All right, he's 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 four foot five too. All right, and what and what's he doing? Where is he in Raccoon City? What's he doing there? He's not in Raccoon City. He Where? happens to be visiting a zoo when the outbreak happens. <laughs> but the outbreak happens. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, he's four foot five. He's at the zoo. Is he a child? <laughs> <laughs> no. How old? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, he is. He accidentally falls into the, the silverback. He's Chris's little, silver Chris, <laughs> <he's> Chris <laughs> little cousin, Ash Redfield. And he's at the zoo, miles away from the outbreak <laughs> happening. He's nowhere, he's yeah. in no danger at all. Suddenly a silverback girl really comes out and like picks him up and tosses him at the wall. And then the police all say, he must have the T-Virus, kill him. They start shooting the, the gorilla to death. Which unleashes the bees that start stinging everybody. And now, the zoo is infected. Because the... the the, the gorilla. He and this is why when the outbreak happened, they had no trained officials to handle it. They all died with the, the, the bee outbreak. Wait, why is he going to Mary Jane's apartment? I thought in Spider Man 2 they're broken up. Man, he, even Spider Man's gotta get his dick sucked sometimes. Is he Spider Man has to, to hold, hold on! <laughs> Even Spider-Man has to have a girl grab his penis. No, but that's what I'm saying in Spider-Man 2. Mary Jane Spider-Man broke it up! What I'm saying right that's now- That's in Spider-Man 3, three, you fucking No, gulag. you- you dick-ass in Spider-Man- No, he fucks no, a green guy, but Spider Remember Spider-Man Spider 2? Dude. Sp and Spider-Man 1? I just fucking edited this into an episode. Don't test my knowledge wait, on this. Wait, wait, At the on. end of Spider-Man 1, Kirsten Dunst is like, eh! she's crying, she makes the weird face. Uh, Peter Parker walks away, and then and then she's like marrying... Fucking Isn't wrong, she marrying dude. the fucking... He's fucking wrong. No, Green Goblin she... breaks in and his guy yeah. says, are you in or are, are you, you out? out? And he says, I'm inside of your fucking green asshole. No, she's gonna he like... He says, I like that Spider-Man. <laughs> You showed me a new way of life. <laughs> you, they'll turn on you, Spider-Man. I used to be afraid of this. If the green you wiggle into you. my... That's all I know. If you wiggle into my slippery little colon, Spider-Man, you know, we can take this city for ourselves. He was called the Brown Gobble after that. And then Spider-Man says, I'm not fucking gay. Not gay, homo. Stop. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> Eventually, we're, eventually we're, like, we're like the CNN Republican debates. Yeah. Jeff goes, Trump could do a lot, but he can't do this. And he spits, he's, <laughs> he's, 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 he spits, he spits a big green glove on the, on the, at the camera, and they're afraid to wipe the camera off. Like, that's a I good would point. I love that. Mr. Trump, how do you respond? I can't. I can't. I can't do I, it. I really just can't. I can't. Honestly, that's not a bad That's the one thing he's maybe good at. Right? It's maybe, maybe the one thing I can't do, but so many others I can. <laughs> I can spit yellow, I can't spit green, I've been training, but I can't do the green yet, right? Do you think if Those halfway Washington? during their presidential, like, election thing, if one of them just accidentally just shat themselves, and they were just like, I'm sorry, I, I, I pooped my pants, I need to leave for now, but I would not be surprised if that shit happened at some point. You no, 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 but, but well, wasn't there, like, a press conference where, like, Lyndon B. Johnson was literally taking a shit during it? Isn't that, like, a thing? <laughs> In an alternate universe, JFK said, if, if they see I, uh, I, 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 I uh, just pooped my pants, I, I need oh, to... Oh, yeah, took a shit by accident? I, I have to excuse myself, I'm sorry. Do you think that would have cost him the presidency? Yeah, yeah you no, know, people, would, people would assume he's got some oh, sort fuck. of, like, medical disability or something. Okay, instead of shitting his pants, what if he went, I, uh, I just made a wee from the excitement, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Nixon there, I uh, took a week. Yeah, he. I may fucked. have got overexcited, and I made a week. So I, what? 
I, I think I think he yeah he'd be fucked. He wouldn't be able to be president. I'm trying to think of the the, the least thing that would, he would barely the just get away with thing. it. Yeah, like he barely gets away with like maybe maybe a little a little snot falls into his mouth. Falls into his nose into his mouth and he oh. eats. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you think he? It's fucking do you, fell. Do you guys remember that? But he does it so fast you barely even notice. Oh. You think that would cost like him? a weird video where someone like. Video edited in like a fly going into Hillary Clinton's <laughs> eyeball or something. There is a video. There is a video. Corey, let's role play. Okay. Um, wakes up in bed, <sighs> looks around. Corey's next to me. WTF? <laughs> Chris, it's time for it to start the day. <laughs> <laughs> Says Corey. Uh, uh, um, rubs chin inquisitively. Hmm. This I, is weird, but I like where it's going. Uh, gets uh, throws self out of bed, feet first, lands <laughs> into pair of socks, standing upright, frozen from nitrous oxide. <laughs> you hear a knock on the door. G -g -g. Well, who the fuck could that be? Walks towards the door like a lum Chris. like a lumbering. <laughs> <laughs> Opens fucking wicker door. Looks out. What? What the hell? Suddenly, I'm a Wyhova's witness. Would you like to become Wyhova's witnesses today? <laughs> Grabs Wyhova's witness by his head, <laughs> slams him into the wall, <laughs> yanks his head back, reveals to be a robot. <laughs> Servos are going wire crazy. Reaches a hand out. No, clench, clench. you're circuiting now. No. Whoa, no, you're doing no, the robot no. voice. Rips off own face. I am also a robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my robot brother. You finally found me. <laughs> Let's have a robot incest right now. You gotta, you gotta go. Can't. You gotta go like... <laughs> Why not? I cannot get aroused. <laughs> oh, no. First, you must download my arousal database. <laughs> <laughs> now downloading. <laughs> You're a robot, dude. <laughs> no, I'm just oh the sound God. effects. It's an entire robot family. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move in together. <laughs> We will start a sitcom. <laughs> Have you ever seen Seinfeld? I like Seinfeld. Seinfeld is made by fucking <laughs> Please remove my racist database. <laughs> my favorite fucking show is Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> and Dexter's Keenan Laboratory. And Kill. and Keenan and Kill were funded by... <laughs> 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 Let's create a new spin-off called Keenan and Kel in Hell. <laughs> so it's like, ah! Because he's burning in hell. Have you guys ever been to a real-life psychic before? No. Would you want to go? I mean, I guess. Sure. If it I'm, was not, like... I'm not even kidding, by the way. I went a couple days ago, and the woman was crazy. Did you actually go to one? Yeah, Adam, Michael, and I went. We literally found the worst-rated one in all of Burbank. <laughs> And she was fuck literally, so we went in and, like, the door was open the whole time, and it was like, there was cars driving by, and, uh, the lady, I, I was the subject, because we were debating, like, I was like, I, I, I can I can't. just imagine you sitting there with a big smile I was your trying head. not to so hard, and, uh, and the woman was like, you have a, she put her hand on my head, she goes, you have a demon attached to you. <laughs> she, basically, she was saying there was a demon attached to me, floating around me, and I lied, she was like, I just lied about my life, she just followed all of it, and, um, Of course. So Michael yeah. was like, Mike was like, yeah, you said something bad happened. We, we went into West Virginia, and I was like, yeah, some evil orb flew into my mouth. <laughs> and, she, and, she, and, and, and Adam goes, Adam goes, yeah, I don't, I didn't believe you about that. She, the woman goes, no, it's real, it's real. <laughs> you go that way. That way across the yeah, lake. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it's just sort of a weird Beavis and Butthead <laughs> echo mixed, chamber. Mixed with Wario. <laughs> mixed with Wario. <laughs> 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 well, that's a hoy. Hey, Peter, you going to the big, uh, you going to drink tonight? No, I want it, but I can't. Tonight, I'm so scared. Hey, Peter, you going to the, you going to the big drink tonight? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to the I big guess, drink yeah, tonight. I guess so. Yeah. But Lois doesn't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Lois is fucking. Lois is one pissed off bitch tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sick of it. Save you from going yeah. to the big drink tonight.
on account of the fact that my father is in town and not dead. <laughs> Peter, my parents are in town. You you can't you can't go. Oh man, I really want to go to the big drink tonight. Oh, sure, it's me, her father. Uh, I want to go to the big drink, even though that's I run the big drink. Not a thing I should be doing. I run the big drink. What a coincidence, Peter Griffin. You're not allowed because I hate you. I don't like that Peter's getting along with my father now. That's the oh, plot man. of the episode. Oh, man, this is worse than a time I couldn't go to the big drink. Oh, Mr. Peter Smith, you're actually pretty cute. Yeah, Mr. Peter Schmidt, you're pretty funny. <laughs> Mr. Peter Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last episode of Family Guy. That's a fucking Dude. plausible plot. He'd be like, well, this is great. I get it to have all this money point. and be me. And then at the end of it, uh, Lois is like, I, I don't want, I'm not sexually attracted to you anymore. I don't want to fuck my father. Oh, man, what am I going to do? Give up what I love? You got to do it, Peter. You got to do it. You can't be Mr. <laughs> Peter Schmidt anymore. As funny as this character is. <laughs> have to let me go <laughs> oh man ah, man this is worse the time i had to let go of mr peter schmidt if spongebob said to you if he if he said zach oh he we are to going me. to lock each other in a room one of us will exit the room alive and get all the other one's so physical he's, possessions so he's like threatening me almost it's like a tauntine uh, he you, if you kill him in the room you get every everything he's ever owned in his life you get all of his but worldly he, but, possessions but, but, but you're saying only one person leaves alive yeah, but, so i have to he, kill but him but if he kills you then yeah he he, he gets, gets everything that you own do you think you can take him how big is he compared to me uh, let, let's scale him like, up. Let's say he's like four foot one. Okay, so he's not the size he is when he's like next to David Hasselhoff, where he's like three no, inches tall. Yeah, let, let's say he's like he, he's like waist, five, he's like five nine. Waist height, chest height, like okay, he kind okay, of so is he's in like, regards he's to. Like, oh, he's still like three and a half feet. Yeah, yeah. Would I kill him? Yeah, I'd kill him <laughs> because he because he'd kill me. <laughs> oh no, he'd kill you if he had the chance. Yeah. What what is he smashing with a hammer right there? Guys, the penis pump actually works. It inflated my cock four times the size.